Well, folks, I'm waiting here at the little launch area for my buddy Louie, as usual, and I just caught a nice little smallie right off the shore. Before we even got in the water, we're going to wade this river today, and I just threw, just saw this tree right here, threw it underneath there, and he chomped the get bit bait stick bait way down in his throat. That's a pretty good sign. I felt like there might have been multiple fish because I actually hooked one for a little bit and that guy then came and ate. So wait around and see if we can't get any decent smallies. Louie might try for some musky. I might try for some musky eventually. Oh, oh God. <laughs> ate it on the surface. So this is a really good sign. Again, little guys, but they fight super hard, and they chomp these baits, too, like way down in their throats. There we go. Another nice little tiny, tiny little creek, river, smallmouth, but hey, you know, that's all good. So this is now my fourth fish waiting for Louie. Just right off the shore right here. It's like a decent little size one, too. And they're just munching this get bit bait stick bait. I was worried about these fish being too small to get it in their mouth, but man, they are crunching that thing. See ya. There's just a bunch of fish under this tree. That's all it is. I haven't moved. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Another one, little guy. I'm just letting it drift down. I lost my bait, but whatever. Again, they're just choking it. Like, look how deep that guy had it down. Like, it is choking. Like, I can barely get the dang hook out. See, he's a little guy, but they're so pretty. Some of the gorgeous fish on earth. It's just this get bit bait stick bait. I don't have them in, I didn't order any in the four inch size, so I'm biting off about an inch black and red flake. I guess it's black with red flake. And I'm just casting it upstream, just kind of flipping it under this tree. Just flipping it upstream like that and just kind of letting it float down. And then all of a sudden your line will do something strange like that it's not supposed to be doing or it'll bump like that. Uh, there will be one on. <laughs> I mean, they're small, but it's fun. I see this kind of fishing all the time back home. You know, you're lost, Louie. Catching all the fish. Oh, God. This, again, it's a little guy, but he's fighting super hard. Oh, it's actually a better fish. It's actually like a pound, maybe a pounder. That's a nice bass. It's a nice little smallie. For a river like this, that's a good fish. It's actually like a really, really nice fish. Look at that. There's a smallie. That is a quality, quality fish. See ya. Oh, I'm going in. I've got five already. What's up? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna be falling in a few times, I have a feeling. I don't think there's any muskies on the bank, Louie. There could be, yeah. No way! No way! No way! It's a smallmouth, dude, that's huge! That's a giant! That is a slab, bro. Just it in there. Look no. It's like three, four 
There might be another one in there. Hang Stepping on. on. Yeah. So I just <laughs> casted my, I just hooked myself, my musky spook in there. But look how stout that fish is. That is a slap. Dude, that's like a three, two, three pound yeah, fish. Yeah, two and a half for sure. Yeah. So I hope. I know. But man, did he slam Dude, that thing? Dude, that's so sick. Dude, these are like really dark smallies. I know, they're gorgeous, gorgeous fish. That's not a bad one, actually. Look how dark they are here. I know. It's all river smallmouth. So that's a decent fish. Oh, so I just got another one. Right there, we're just kind of walking down. We walked up river for a little bit, nothing doing. Louie caught one on a sub walk on his musky rod. And of course, we come back down river and then I caught one immediately, so. <clears throat> right in there, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and there's Louie's got one right there. Get they're just fit. see they're just stacked in there. Shout so, out to Daniel. Is that a get bit too? Yep, yep. Yeah, I just caught one on a get bit uh stick bait and Little he just guy. caught one on a get bit too. Get bit, so when you guys are creek fishing and you're going out and want to catch some of these creek smallies like Louie and I are doing today, you want these are kind of the main things that you're going to want to at least try um you know some top waters poppers um chugs something like that uh jerk baits are always good pretty much year round for smallmouth are really really good uh as long as the water is a little bit cooler shaky heads um you're going to break off a lot with shaky heads but they do really work because 90 percent of the time fish and rivers are feeding on craws um and then lots of wacky rig hooks like that even the weedless ones i've got a couple of those in there um, and then Ned rigs uh, and tube jigs. So just kind of some things to keep in there. I've also got a little crankbait in there just in case we find some little bit more open water that I feel like it could work. Um, and you know these jerk baits, you can, they're light enough where you can throw them on spinning tackle too. So you really only need one rod. Um, Louie just has two today because he's also musky fishing. I think I just felt some raindrops, which kind of sucks. But yeah, so that's kind of your basic creek thing. And you don't really want a tackle box too much bigger than this because it'll weigh you down. There's just a musky sitting right in here. You just grab him. <laughs> yeah. I just had a bite right over there. Damn it. Well, it's also raining right now. Sorry if there's any drops on the camera. It's not like pouring, but it is raining. So. Oh, I got a big one. Dude. You got a yeah, dude. Oh. Big one. I can barely reel him in. Come on. Ah! How does this even happen? How? A little deep there? Is it shallower up there? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, dude. Look how deep it is, look where I am and where yeah. he is. Look at that. Yeah, I can't see bottom. That for a second. Yeah. Shit. Oh, no, it came off. There goes the GoPro. Battery pack. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> Jeez. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. We are in very fast current right now. Currently walking up river because we didn't catch jack shit. How's it going back there, Skipper? Look at that. Look at that current. You can see it. It's rolling. Fucking chestnuts. So, folks at home, this is. Well, I've kind of made it. Lauren's still <laughs> Lauren's still struggling. <laughs> He's still feeling it. That was way steep for the first time. Yeah. Dude. Oh my gosh. Oh! Decent pike just chased us back in. Yeah! 
I think it was a pike. Okay, so a little day recap here. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody knows what the heck this means, I don't know if you all can see that, but it's blinking. I and... mean, don't buy the session. Yeah. Well, don't lose the little cover. And fall. And in. the display is not on. So I'm pretty sure it's done, but hey, <laughs> that's what happens. So I took Lauren to the Chippewa River. Mm -hmm. And we have someone coming to us. I'm Patterson Leith. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for FLW. Oh shit, nice dude. Yeah. <laughs> I fished, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, I see the jersey song. Cool, man. Nice. Nice. You guys catching today? Small East. Caught some few, yeah. <laughs> Vice President of FLW. Vice <laughs> so, we caught a few. I caught a few right away when I got here, just off the bank. Kind of went down a little bit. Caught one kind of fluke, I guess, almost. On a musky top water, and I was casting in on a, a sewer on the left side. Musky weren't doing anything today, were they? No, I was just slow by a cold front, shut them off, unfortunately. Yeah, tried for them though. Most smallmouth, of the time. smallmouth turned on a little bit late, but then after you know my GoPro went in the water, I kind of got all salty a little bit and <laughs> just was kind of worrying about getting back. But we caught a few down there. We had one good smallmouth spot. And yeah, it's right there. We had one. <laughs> it's literally here. Yeah. So that's what happened. Sorry about the lack of footage from the last couple minutes there last maybe hour or so um, but now we're gonna go get some food after we finish eating this food what'd you think of the rapids dude the strong rapids next time we come here we're getting a boat well we did fall in actually we did i fell in a couple times deep. yeah what was the setup you're using i had a calcutta shitty rod i had a refurbished st croix rod but i had a calcutta 4000 65 pound braid with a mini bulldog and this was my setup for today this is a shimano zodius with a Shimano Nasi, Nashi, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's their like entry level saltwater reel. Thought probably it'd be pretty great for these littler, littler, it's not a word, <laughs> smaller uh, creeks and river smallmouth. Um, and it worked great just with that wacky rig get bit baits, um, stick bait, and uh, also the tube. tube Speaking of that, well, real yeah. quick, shout out to Daniel for the sponsorships yeah. for both Lauren and I. The Thank you. The baits are excellent. Catch a lot of fish on them, especially today. Um, this is my first day actually using them since I got them in. I just got them in yesterday, so, um, and I'm very impressed. I mean, that, <laughs> that worked just as, if not better, than the Senko that I was using. So, thank you to Daniel. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing because I know everybody who watches this will subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time on Wisconsin Fishing Now. Peace and cheerio.